Being in our parks and being active and recreating, is it enhances your well-being. It fosters a sense of community. Today, because it's July is Parks uh, Month in Santa Monica as well as throughout the country and other cities, we're doing a bike ride tour of a lot of our parks, both old ones and new installations. 100 miles of bike lanes in Santa Monica. We have our Breeze Bike Share system with 85 stations where you can rent a bike and deliver it to another kiosk or back to where you started. Uh, we have bike valets at all of our big events, so we're making biking easier for people. We are so excited about Parks Month because um, Santa Monica has these incredible gems of parks uh, nestled in neighborhoods. Many people don't even know all the wonderful parks we have. So what we're doing is showcasing those with lots of great activities all month long, all of July, um, celebrating and spotlighting the great things that are happening in our neighborhood parks and in some of our bigger parks as well, and talking about the plans we have for more parks in Santa Monica. This is our third summer doing it, and we come down here four times throughout the course of the summer. It's been so great. We get so many positive comments. People are so surprised to see the library set up down here, but very appreciative of it. So today we're here with Tracy Bromwich, our studio resident, and she's teaching an indigo dyeing class. Um, this is the second time she's done an indigo dyeing class. Throughout her residency, she does a class every week, basically. So she's covered um, ice dyeing, Kool-Aid dyeing, um, a lot of dyeing fibers. And we hold art and culture classes uh, for adults and seniors. It's good to have a lot of different activities that I can bring the kids to in our community. Um, if you have a swim cart, you could just use one of your swims and bring the kids. They have a DJ, they gave out free snow cones. The kids get to swim, they bring out all these great cool toys. I've experienced that the Santa Monica Swim Center is a great place to make friends and get closer with the family. And I think even adults should have a great time and make friends and I think this should be a great experience for them too. As a resident, events like this bring us together and Santa Monica does offer a lot of free events. This event, next Saturday's event, the free concerts at the pier, there's city parks, July City Park Month, there's free movies in the park, there's free concerts in the park. There's free classes everywhere here in Santa Monica, so it's just another great unity community activity that Santa Monica is giving, and I really, really enjoy it. String Theory is so happy to be performing at the Meet Me at Reed concert series in celebration of the city of Santa Monica's Parks Month. You can feel the, su the artistic support that exists in the city of Santa Monica, in the community, as it supports artists, and it's honestly kind of like a magical thing. Like it, there's very few, you know, situations like this where it's very clear that there is a, a city that's making a decision to support its artists in a way that that, ha that goes on here. It's very exciting to see something so different. To see a harp that's 50 feet long and someone playing it is just very exciting. Definitely something different and very California. Well, I think parks are so amazing to be able to have community and if parks are utilized we build community from that.